Hey guys, as the title says, I've just been in a fight at work. So um I get a call from the boss saying that um one of the site one of the lads on sites needs help. So um you know I'm just chilling out at home in my jammies and uh, yeah he says can you get down there? You know the lads are having a bit of trouble, can you shoot down and um just try and help out? Says, yeah, all right, got my clothes on, you know, badge, all of that, and, uh, yeah, jumped on my back, and, uh, yeah, headed down. So I get here, and um, the site actually has a dog handler, so we have a guard dog on site, and, um, yeah, I get here and start talking to him, and he tells me that the guy is, you know, I, he, he would say in his 20s, late 20s but he's about 28 and uh, what he's done is he's actually jumped over and he's just down the back, really far end of the other of the site just pratting about but okay so this lad rather on drugs or he's having a mental episode let um i try I, I get an update about the police the police have basically said that they can't come yet you know they're trying to you know trying to dispatch someone Basically, what what we've done is we've actually told the police that there's three guards now, three, and uh, you know this lad is just doesn't want to go. I haven't seen the lad yet, so um, I speak to the police, you know all that, and they just said, you know, there's three of you. Do what you need to do to get him out, or rather, you know, get him down and detain him if he starts fighting with you. Or if you can escort him off of the property, then, um, you know, do that as well. So, yeah, we, uh, I jump in the van with the, uh, with the dog handler, and we shoot down. I see the, uh, I see the guard, I see the other security guard, and I can see the guy. Now, he's, where, where this guy is, he's, he's jumped over the very, where I'm stood right now. You know, very, very far bit, uh, end bit. And he's ran all the way up this hill. If, yeah, I'll uh, quickly show you. I can't show you. Never mind. <laughs> um, he's jumped right over. He ran over the hill and he's gone all the way down the bottom. <clears throat> now, to go down there, you would have to have some very good PPE. Protective gear. Because where he was stood, there was a little, what we call a muddy pond. This muddy pond is... You, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get any of it on you. You don't want to go for a swim in it. Hence why I'm quite wet. Why my hair is a mess, mess right now. Um, yeah, anyway, so we get out of the van and I approach this guy. And I ask him nicely, mate, let's go. Just get in the van and we'll take you up the top. Just leave for us, yeah? Let's be adults about this and let's, you know, not deck about. So, yeah, this guy decides, nah... I want to rumble, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's me, the dog handler, and another security guard. This isn't going to turn out good for you, mate. Um, I, I am, I've been stood with this guy, arguing with him for about an hour now. No, two hours I was stood with him, roughly about two hours, arguing with him, trying to get him off. Of the side, but also we were waiting for the police as well because this guy was just irritating us, and he, you know, we we just instead of escalating and going hands on, you might as well wait and try and de-escalate it, which is the way you are trained. The, this guy was just was provoking us. He was saying, "You guys can't do anything. You can't touch me. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's my rights and all this." He's obviously been watching those crappy YouTube channels where, you know, personal rights and this, that and the other. It's not the USA, we're in England, dude. So anyway, this guy's, you know, I've reached me I've reached my limit now and I'm 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 I've had enough. So I keep nice and calm and I just start, you know, I'm looking at the ground and I'm just going a bit closer to him and a bit closer to him and a little bit closer to him. And you know, he didn't even see it coming. I was so he's there, and I'm just trying to like I'm going like sideways, so it doesn't look like I'm going towards him. It doesn't look like I'm about to pounce on him, which you know, in my head, I'm planning. 
I'm just, dude, my hair is just drying off. Anyway, so I get close enough to him. I'm still looking at the ground. And next minute, I just, I just run at him. I just jump on him, grab his arm, and the other, two, the other two guards are, you know, run at us as well. We start struggling with the guy. Um, unfortunately, the guy does get up, and what he does next is absolutely ridiculous. Just, just stupid, and this is what I don't understand. This guy then pulls out a knife. It's not, you know, one of the big thingy knives. It's not a big thing. It's a bloody, it's a, it's a kitchen knife. You know what you what you'd what you'd eat your food with, but it's still a knife. So we back off because it's it's a knife. It's still a knife. It doesn't matter if he you know can do how much damage to you. It's still a knife. The the dog handler runs runs down runs back to his van, gets the dog out, and we start giving him commands. Put the knife down. This lad just doesn't want to. Instead, remember that muddy puddle. He dives into it. He dives into this muddy puddle. It's not. It, it can't kill you. It's just not very good for you. Okay. It's, you don't want to get on your skin because it's irritating. As you can see, your hair goes like that. <laughs> um, his his whole face went in. So, without without thinking, I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go in and get this guy. I managed to get in, grab his arm, and drag him out of the pool dead quickly bearing in mind this lad's still got a knife get in grab his arm and i drag him out of the pond as quickly as i possibly as can um as soon as i get him like off out of the puddle i just jump up and i move back uh, sorry no <laughs> yeah i you know move back I, I jump off of him and i move back <clears throat> the dog handily lets the dog go the dog instantly goes straight for the arm with the knife as it's trained. Goes for the knife, grabs the guy on his arm, and he, he you know, he disarms him. So all three of us run up to him, pounce on him. Uh, we, 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 well, one of the lads has already called the police back and, um, yeah, has told him this lad's pulled a knife, this, that, and the other. So the, the, they put it up to a category one, which, what they call, which, there's different categories. Category one is one of the quite serious ones where we need police. I think we were on a tip like a lower category because, like they said, you know, we are guards and this, that and the other. And yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, so the dog's on him. We, we jump on him. Next minute, yeah, I'm down on the floor with this guy. Bear in mind, we don't have handcuffs either. You can do handcuff training where you can carry handcuffs. But then you have, your company you work for has to pay the insurance and this and the other. It's, it's not worth it. We were waiting another hour for the police and we are getting tired because this guy on the floor wasn't. He was struggling, he was fighting. One of the other lads gets up, he rings the police back and tells him no, so now there's only two of us and the dog. The dog, the, the dog handily, because this dog was, you know, getting into his skin now. So I, you know, he eventually did kind of cool down. So I said to the lad with the, with the dog, you know, get the dog off him, put him in the van, come back to me as quickly as you can. So that's what he did. He gets up, gets the dog, puts on a leash, runs to the, uh, runs to the, uh, to the van. And, uh, yeah, pops the, uh, Pops the dog into the van. I've just seen two or three dogs. That's terrified me. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, he runs back to me. By the time he's got up, got to me, this lad's up on his feet. He's lifted me off, and I'm a fat lad, you know. I'm a big lad. This lad's only skinny. He's lifted me up, and instantly we're into a scrap. He's swinging at me. I'm dodging. I'm I'm going like this, really trying to protect myself. You know, I get a little jab on him. He gets me on the side of my head. The other, this, this dog handler. The dog handlers barely go hands on, but this dog handler genuinely runs at him and spear bolts him into the ground. And I don't know what he did, but he knocked this lad clean out. 
So the lad who's on the phone with the police is, you know, explaining everything to him, you know, we, we, he's, he's down, he's injured, he's, he's knocked out, he's, he's, he's unconscious. So now, after all that, you know, we've got an unconscious person. Um, yeah, it, it's just mental. It's stupid how people, the police come, they put the lad in cuffs, we also have an ambulance on site as well, and for some reason, I don't understand why, but the fire brigade turned up. We didn't ask for them, they just turned up. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, um, forgetting about it as well, I had to tell the, tell the officers that this guy's been in this pond. It's um, not great pond. If, if you've touched him, you're, not, you're gonna want, want to wash your hands. It's just gonna irritate your skin in a little while. Uh, they arrest him, they get our, in, um, our um, reports off us, and uh, yeah, they, they, they get away. It, it was just, just this is a grown ass adult who did all this, and it's absolutely ridiculous how, um, how you know, why it turned like this. Um, I am now staying on site, I've sent the other lad home. Because, you know, he's, he was too frustrated and I decided, you know, I might as well stay on site and, yeah, I might as well stay on site and, uh, but actually, I have got to go, guys. I have just seen another person jumping over the fence and I can swear that's the same lad. So I'm going to end the video. Yeah, it's the same lad. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, if you watched it all the way through then uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I will see you later. Ta-ra!